So my great friend Mary Jo Withrow one on Twitter, well, she rather goes by. Jo, just Jo. Which also happens to be the name of her channel on YouTube. Well, she alongside dreams underscore Tiffany on Twitter were lucky enough to win a $100 gift card to Gerard Cosmetics and one part of the giveaway where they got to choose one friend each to also receive a gift card. And Joe graciously elected me to receive one. Which brings us to now me trying the goodies I got from Gerard Cosmetics. Beanie is being absolutely atrocious right now. Oh yeah, for camera's sake, I have no hair. It's cold in Tasmania, I need a beanie. So, I'm going to try and include screen recording from my phone. I have the ever wonderful, ever amazing, gorgeous and fabulous Joe on the phone with me. I don't know how well you guys will see it. Oh look, you can kind of see her. Get her in frame, oh look. Oh, we're, we're next to each other, we're collabing, holy shit. Uh, I got weird black marks on my wall. You can deal with that. I'm in a new space. Eventually, I want to try and get a backdrop for this, so I'll look a little bit more presentable. But yolo, you get it is what it is. You get what you get. One of the first things I actually got from Gerard Cosmetics, funnily enough, was a beautiful little phone pop socket. I bought this case specifically to put the pop socket on. I'm sure you guys kind of know what a pop socket is. If not. It's like a little button thing that attaches to a phone case. It's got like a little adhesive on the back and it can expand and contract to be a bit more streamlined on the back of your phone case. And then you can pull it out and it gives you a nice little handy grip so you know you can one-handed hold your phone a bit easier. I got nine things in total with the little pop socket being the first one. I need to stop touching my face. I have cleaned my hands, but I shouldn't touch my face anyways because Rona. But my face is itchy, okay. So I bought these two products. I got one of Gerard's lip pencils and I got one of Gerard's Hydromats. This is the struggle. Yeah, so I got the Hydromat from Gerard Cosmetics as well as one of the lip pencils from Gerard Cosmetics. And these are both in the shade Sher. Sure. And I believe these are going to be a rosy brown shade. Yeah. We'll go in with this Supreme Lip. Bullshit. Let's. There we go. Supreme Lip Cream from Gerard Cosmetics. If I can flip the box the right way, nope, my brain does not. Everything doesn't want to compute. So, this is the Supreme Lip Cream in Envy. Um, I've literally not opened anything other than like one liquid lipstick, which I believe is Envy. And that was for when I was doing the product photography. This is Sher, sure, this is Envy. So, the Hydra mats come in kind of like a, a frosted plastic while this almost feels like glass type plastic this is a bullet lipstick so this isn't a, a liquid lipstick like the other ones have been this is the bullet lipstick rodeo drive i don't know how well it's showing up in camera but it's like a gold metal packaging so it feels quite nice in the hands comparing it to something like a mac bullet lipstick which i've owned before the matte ones but the mac ones have almost like a matte plastic feel while these feel more like metal this is the glitter lipstick i got the shade all access so for reference i'll grab the normal hopefully you can kind of see the difference so this one is the normal lipstick this is glitter next i've got the slay away the day makeup removing balm and I actually got the rose or rose or I think it is just rose scent. I'm assuming it's scented because I had to choose the scent or flavor. Oh, it's sealed as well. We like that. We like it when they're sealed. I mean, I don't know if it's just my nose fucked or not, but all I can smell is hydrogen peroxide. God, this feels solid. <laughs> I think it's a bit frozen solid because how cold it is here. <laughs> yeah, this uses has coconut oil, so which can harden at times to reset the mixture, soak in water as warm as you would use in the bath for 15 to 30 minutes. Well, she's, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that loud, but. This is one of the last products I'm going to unbox. Dry Cosmetics Eye Concealer. The last item that I'm most excited for, I got the bust of the house with Rich Lux and Gerard Cosmetics setting spray box. Love you so much. It's a nice little card. Rich looking fabulous with his ice cream outfit. Usually the all three have the sprays out. My mini 
in my box this in transit it leaked and kind of destroyed the cardboard that the actual things come in that's why this is out and already got its thing on because i also put it like this for product photography which you've seen in like the intro of this video the the boxes of the setting sprays these are actually quite similar to what the makeup removal balm looks like instead of slay away the day it just this just says slay all day so that's why this is on the slightly emptier side is because this was originally like half empty. I filled from this into the mini because I'd rather have the mini be filled and I can leave the full size of this. Essentially, I'll leave it in its box. So I'll probably will actually just leave it in the box for now and refill the mini bottle from it. This is the dreamsicle scent, I guess. Thanks, Joe, for letting me know. God, I wish that was the mini instead of the mint choc chip one. Yeah, I very much like this. I'm going to be doing a basic eye look. I'm going to be featuring the, this is the Ace Beauty Paradise Full One Palette, Pat McGrath. I think this is the... It's got too many words part of its name. Pat needs to stop. It's called the Mothership Subversive Metal Morph Suicide Shadow Palette, so I'm going to use a mixture of these two. This is the basic colour story of the Ace Beauty Palette. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to mostly be focusing on the top row because I'm just going to do a basic blend to see how it performs. I'm going to go in with Gerard Cosmetics Eye Canvas on M Morphe M224 brush. This reminds me of the ABH eye primer, but this is just more. Oh, this is darker than it. I'm first going to go in. You get fluffy brush from Morphe and M330. Semi dense fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade Vine from the Ace Beauty palette. I mean, that looks phenomenal with just one colour on. Even on camera, that looks so beautiful. Oh well, oh, let's not break my beautiful Pat McGrath mirror in my palette. Oh, I'm actually going to go in with this this shade from Pat McGrath's palette. Not on this brush, but on a slightly different one. Actually no, I am going to go in with this one, because it's fluffy. I'm going to go on with the outer edges of the eyeshadow just to give it some shine, give it some pop, and as well as to blend it out a little bit. I'm going to go back in with the Ace Beauty Paradise Ball palette. I'm going to go in with a very small Morphe. Okay, Morphe M149. Hi! Birds doing noises. Um, BS Morphe M149. I'm going to go in with the shade Blackout, which is this black shade. On a very small little brush, like I said, for Morphe, it is the M149. I'm just going to deepen up the outer corner and swallow as add some on my lash line. Yes, hi bird, I hear you. Ow, let's not shove it in my eyeball. So I've just gone back in with the shade Vine from the Ace Beauty palette and I'm just matching up the lower lash line with the colours going on with the upper lash line. Probably going in with way too big of a brush for this, but I don't know. I'll go back in with Morphe M321 and I'm just going to go through. Yeah, it's, like I said, no product on it, it's clean. I'm just going to do this so that I can blend out what's already on the eye more. So going back in with the small Morphe M149, this little thing on the brush. I'm going to just start pulling some of that black shadow just across the lash line.
going with Ryan from the Ace Beauty palette on this brush that I got from Star Gem Cosmetics. It looks like a little crystal. A pretty. Yes. I'm first going to try and use this shade without any setting spray because I know it is quite foily without the setting spray, but I will probably also go over with some more for when I want to try out the setting sprays that I got from Gerard Cosmetics. This shimmer first and foremost is a nice shimmer from Ace Beauty so can't expect it to not perform well but it is also going on really nicely without needing to pack on more product from the Gerard Cosmetics pot or go in with like some setting spray just to make it stick but I'm going with the smallest little bit of what shade are you? Oh, let's not break things, break it all, smash destruction. Shade blocks. I think it's bronze. Yes, exactly what I wanted to see. I know what I'm doing sometimes, <laughs> but only sometimes. The other times is just bullshit. <laughs> Now to do in a corner highlight. Now I'm going in with shade Sterling from the Pat McGrath palette. I'm going to bloop bloop. It smells so good. Like even though we don't like it, I could imagine this scent would actually go really nicely with the scent that Blood Sugar has from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, because that is scented, and this scent very much reminds me of like one of those sweet scents. Even though like this scent I would actually more associate with the um, Thirsty palette collection just because of the aesthetic of Thirsty. But this, this very much reminds me of like the scent of the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. Okay, mission successful. I applied eyeliner and it didn't fuck up. <laughs> I'll just add the slightest bit of depth black, black back English attack. I'm just going back over the top of the eyeliner with a little bit more of the black eyeshadow just to blend it in a bit more plus I also lost a little bit of the blackness from the shimmers I applied so just to build that back. Now it's fun, fun time. Lashes and mascara and still do need to get one of those really small mini um, curlers for like my inner lashes because I can never get the inner lashes curled. Now I'm just going in with my Hourglass Caution Mascara. This thing's old, so I probably need to replace it. If I don't probably need to, I definitely need to. I'm gonna go in with these beautiful lashes from Monk Cosmetics. I have a code with them. I'll put it in the description below because I cannot remember it off the top of my head right now. Especially because I'm trying to do this quickly. <laughs> did I even grab the right... Yes, I did. <laughs> I was about to be like, did I even grab the right lashes for this side of my face? So yeah, this is the look I've done so far. This eye is using the, the I had a mind blank. The Gerard Cosmetics a clean canvas. Yeah, this beauty is on this eye. And I also use the Ace Beauty palette as well as the Pat McGrath palettes from before. All over the eyes. Back to more fun things other than eye makeup. This is where the video goes rogue because I might either have a, this eye done or I might just not. You might just get this beauty. 
But I do want to play with the lip products. First and foremost, I want to go in with this. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Sure Lip Liner. I've got, I've got mascara on my fingers and I don't want to get it on the packaging. This is what it looks like. Just before I'm going to do that, I'm going to go in with another product that actually, funnily enough, Joe gifted me, which is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Well, I don't know if you're supposed to do this. I actually like using it as a little bit of a moisturizer before I go in with lip products, just because it is so nice and hydrating. I've got dry lips because, especially in the winter, they just get horrible. It's pretty much the only real dry spot I have on my face is like my lips. So this is very much like a similar colour to my lip already. Mind you, ignore the fact that I'm not the best at lip application. The lip liner of it is really nice formula. They are very creamy and it makes like overlining really easy because they can just like blend into the skin really nicely while also retaining some of that like sharpness because even though I've used a fair bit of it, I haven't sharpened it yet, but it's still got a relatively sharp point. This is the fun part. I'm going to go in with the Sher Hydromat Liquid Lipstick, which is supposed to be the like matching lip liner shade of this. So I feel like I wiped like too much product off because there isn't much product coming off of the applicator. Or it's just that similar to my lip colour, I can't tell. <laughs> It's a similar kind of tone to American Woman by um, NARS. I quite like that shade too. I've never actually owned a lip liner and liquid lipstick that are supposed to like match together. I believe I've figured out I've got enough skills to be able to apply and talk. Yes, I'm not the best in lips. I don't often do lips. I've lopsided lips, but they do the job. That is just the combo of Sher lip liner and Sher Hydromat together. I think they are quite a pretty combo. Do I want to put Envy on top of it to see what Envy looks like? Or do I want to swatch them on my face? Or on the back of my hand? I kind, of want to put, I kind of want to put the glitter lipstick on top of this though. This is the shade Envy. I'm going to swatch some on the back of my hand. Let's see. Oh, she, she gloopy. She a bit gloopy. Kind of don't know how I feel about that. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> it's thick like a lip gloss. This is the Supreme Lip Cream. So, very glossy, very juicy. Very much like a thick coloured gloss. So I mean it probably would go quite nicely with the lip combo that I've got on right now. Next one we'll try the matte liquid, uh, matte liquid lipstick. Matte lipstick. It looks so pretty on camera. It's very much like a very comfortable type finish from what it looks like on the back of my hand. Very rosy toned Rodeo Drive. It similar kind of colour family to what I actually purchased. So I did a really good job just getting all lipsticks with a similar kind of colour story, apparently. Comparing it to like my other solid lipsticks that I have, I don't have many. I've got one from like an indie brand. This is from Sparrow Cosmetics. It's been used and well loved, but we'll swatch it. It's got a similar type of formula. I feel like this is a bit more like creamy in a I wouldn't even say it's a positive creamy way it feels that feels more like oily creamy while the Gerard ones feel much more like a similar to the creaminess of what the Pat McGrath lipsticks are but Pat McGrath's feel a bit more matte than the Gerard Cosmetics ones do. One of the last products from Gerard that I probably can today which is this beauty which is the glittery lipstick in all access. This is the shade all access. Ooh. In person, it almost has like a goldy, ready copper shift to it. Oh. So that's it there. That's it there. That's 
but you can kind of see the glitteriness to it. And much more red than the others. It definitely looked, it didn't look this red when I was on the website, but no matter, I quite like the colour anyway. Kind of fucks the lip line shape of my lips, but frankly I don't care. So it's a little bit of a red shape to it. That is pretty. I do quite like that as a lipstick to add like a little bit of a shift to your lips. A little bit of shine and funness to it. So this is what I ended up doing with the Gerard Cosmetics items that I did receive in this order slash set of goodies because of the gift card that I won. So I used the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas this eye base and concealer all over the eyes and just used the Ace Beauty and the Pat McGrath palettes that I mentioned earlier to do the actual look itself with the KBD, I don't even think I mentioned it, KBD Trooper liner. I use that as the black eye liner, but I also use a black eye shadow to get the shape of the black smokiness going. Lashes themselves are from Monk Cosmetics. They're an indie brand from New Zealand, which I happen to have the code with. And I'll leave all that kind of information down below. Get a little bit closer. Pull up the vein a bit. Yeah, so this is the eye look that I've completed. Very pretty, very just normal glam. And then this is the lips I kind of came up with. Ignore the kind of bit of messiness that's to them. So for this combo, I used the lip liner and lipstick share, the Hydra Matte lipstick, I believe. And then on top of it, I used the glittery lipstick all access. Yeah, all access. So. I mean, everything is really pretty so far. This look looks quite nice, very shiny, very well blended in my opinion. I'm not the best makeup artist, but I had fun. Um, from what I know, these shadows have performed like on my normal eye primer, which is this from Shop Miss A. I've used this, I've used this a couple of times before in videos as well as I use this quite often, other than my ADH eye primer. But I received this and I unboxed it in my Shop Miss A unboxing video. This is great. It's almost like a dupe for the MAC Fix, not MAC Fix Plus, the MAC Paint Pot. Because the MAC Paint Pots, while they are quite nice, they contain Carmine, and I don't want to use Carmine. Uh, I did also use this to foil the shadow that's in the inner corner with that silver shifting. Very pretty shade. I'll probably do a look full face another day and try out the setting sprays just to see how they actually perform as setting sprays. But from how I know my other setting sprays perform as a agent that I use to like, well, agent, to um, foil shadows. It's very pretty. I do quite like the performance and the end results, so I can't complain. Yeah. Get a bit Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Joe, my beautiful, amazing friend Joe, for not only electing me to actually, you know, win alongside her to receive the actual gift card for all of this goodies, but you know, for joining me on the video and actually having fun talking to me, talking to you guys, and just generally being awesome and an amazing person the way she is. Thank you so much for watching. See you later, bye.